Well, 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 we're back. Gonna do a quick video a little bit different than my usual videos. Uh, well, first I want to talk about flying, I guess, and then I want to get into um, the real topic of this video, and that's disassociation. Okay. Um, well, um, I technically have an opportunity to visit family and and my old friends um, in the East Coast. And, um, well, that would mean flying. And um, the way that I've been feeling uh, lately kind of... Uh, is, well, is keeping me from being able to, to do that, uh, you know, as well as a lot of regular things. But it's a, it's a real disappointment. It's a real disappointment. Um, I feel like I could do a two-hour flight, you know. That's not a big deal. That's just, uh, that's just one of the Lord of the Rings movies, you know what I mean? That's not, that's not that hard to do. Apocalypse Now feels longer than a plane ride, you know, but then again, Apocalypse Now is good, you know, I hate planes. I've only gone twice, <sighs> but I had to take uh, Saraquil to uh, handle the, um, the flight in and then the flight back. Um, uh, I, I wasn't as anxious and kind of mixed up as I am now. It wasn't that hard. I was kind of just bored, you know? Uh, I mean, I, I was anxious. Like I hate looking out the window. Um, I mean, you're just in some like tin box and in, in the fucking air, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't like that. Uh, I, I'd rather die on the ground with, um, in a car, I guess. I don't know. Like, uh, you know, a plane going into the ground or whatever. Mm -mm. I don't know. Not that that's going to happen, but um, my brother is moving back home uh, to be with friends and, you know, my family asked if I would be able to fly with him because it'll be his first time. And, you know, of course you want to be helpful, you know, I want to, I want to be helpful and stuff, you know, but I'm not helpful. I'm not, I'm in no position to be helpful. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying, but I'm not, I'm not ready. You know, I, I don't know what I would do. Like if I had a panic attack in the air, what then, you know, what do you, what do you do? You know, it's like, it's like, um, like I, um, I know, uh, I know somebody, it might have been two people who, who are like, oh, you know, like, talking about, like, taking LSD on a plane. Hey, what? Hey, what? That sounds like a nightmare. Being on a plane is like, yeah, that would be being alone with myself for way too long. I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm not flying, you know, but now I'm, like, disappointed because I'm, like, I'm the guy who can't fly. I can't, you know. I'm the guy who can't help out, you know, when when everyone could kind of use that right now. So, uh, hey, you know, I wish I was um, not the way that I am. And that leads me to the the disassociation. It's cold down here. Um, well, you know, I uh, I've been feeling really weird um, as of late because my disassociation has been terrible. I'm uh, sober uh, for, it's been over a month. It's been maybe two months. I really don't know. It feels like it's been a while. I haven't drank, I haven't smoked, I haven't touched anything, but I want to, you know? I would love to be doing that, but I just, um, my mind feels like a bird's nest. Um, I saw a therapist the other day through Zoom, not ideal, you know, but I talked to a therapist the other day. I, I, don't, I don't see my regular therapist anymore because I, you know, I don't have, um, I don't have the 
money to to pay for the sessions right now you know and it's a shame therapy costs money um the therapist i'm seeing is covered by my insurance you know but i gotta wait till december i'm also seeing a psychiatrist in december um and having a medication appointment and well the the thing with that is it's in december you know everything's a wait and um it's tough it's tough it's tough that help is always tomorrow you know i'll i'll be well tomorrow yeah you know what i mean i'll do that thing tomorrow morning and i mean i've been trying to be up on my errands and stuff i forgot to fill my prescription today because i've been i've been hustling baby i've been today was a pretty lucrative day but that lead, leads me to my next point, going back to the disassociation. I've got this thing where I've been having people drop off all their used items, consoles, video games, controllers, accessories, books, DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs, okay? All that, all that. I want all that, okay? So people have been coming and going back and forth. My phone has been blowing up since... Uh, like two nights ago it's just been constant dealing with people who want to like kind of just give away their their old old items you know and uh of course i i have a plan you know i take these items and i sell them okay i'm a natural hustler in that way all right gotta have a side hustle just trying to have a little scrape together a little a little spending money or whatever, you know, but anyway, anyway, it, it went really good, okay, I've got boxes full of stuff that I, I'm going to make a, turn a real, real profit on, so I'm excited, but the problem is, um, you know, I'm in the process of doing this, you know, I, um, I, I've just been nonstop, go, 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 all day, taking care of, um, these trades and, and, you know, um, you know, people just dropping these things off. So anyway, I got overwhelmed. I started feeling overstimulated. Russell Brand was talking on the Joe Rogan experience on the TV. I had it blasting kind of loud because I need distraction. Uh, meanwhile, I'm on my phone scrolling through like people constantly just, oh my God, talking to so many different people that I was forgetting who was who and the whole thing. And I labeled them all by what items they have. So it was really complicated, you know? And I just started kind of losing my sense of self, which is a weird thing. Like I said, we're getting into the disassociation. I kind of like get wrapped up in whatever I'm doing to the point where I'm like, just feel out of place. Just kind of don't feel like me anymore. It's very strange. Um, and I believe today I got r really bad. I I definitely had a, a terrible episode of of panic and oh, all the all the other stuff that I deal with right now. I don't want to get into all these problems I'm having, but uh, my uh, mental stuff is. I'm uh, well. I'm having this thing where I don't eat. I won't eat during the day um, unless someone's around, or I just have this fear of my food being drugged or tampered with, which is a, some sort of a, an eating disorder. Um, I I was told um, uh, because I had an intake at a um, at a um, at a mental health center and. Uh, I went through this process where they diagnosed some issues, you know, nothing is like for sure, but they explained to me that that was an eating disorder. Anyway, uh, I hadn't gotten any sleep the previous night. Okay. So it's not 12 yet. Last night I didn't get any sleep. All right. I got like a blink of sleep. Okay. I was watching Hagazasa. Go watch that. It's better than the witch. Well, it's creepier than the witch. Anyway, I got barely any sleep. Woke up at 9 a.m., just started with, you know, like, uh, doing my hustle, okay? Nonstop since 9 a.m., okay? Um, and I didn't eat because I started having my paranoia. So I didn't, I wasn't eating right, and I wasn't drinking right, and I had low sleep. 
and I guess my body just went into panic mode. I had to go out on the, to the street and talk to a family member for like, I don't know, like an hour and 10 minutes just to kind of like, you know, get, get right again. T totally mixed up. The disassociation comes at the weirdest times and it ruins everything. Lately, I've been having this lingering issue. Um, a good example of this is, um, now this isn't with everything. It's not going to be the same for everyone. There's a movie called 1922. There's also a book, okay? Um, and the main character talks about how in every man, there's another man. This is like his dark side, okay? Or uh, his demons or whatever you want to call it. The side that um, has all the vices, whatever, you know? The dark, the dark side, the negative thought, you know, you know the bad side. Um, the main character calls this second sense of self, the conniving man. Okay. So I guess I'm dealing with this, you know, my own conniving man always, um, making me feel badly. Um, and I never like hear voices or anything weird like that. It's kind of just, I get intrusive thoughts and get into a weird headspace and this conniving man which is basically just a, you know, a separate form of self, I guess you could say, but in a negative, in a negative way. Um, the conniving man is like all negative. So when I'm paranoid or, you know, freaking out about something, I look for a reason and, um, you know, something to calm me down, whatever it is. I don't have that. I've got the conniving man and the conniving man's like, hey, you should be worried right now. And also makes me feel like th this is the disassociation. It, it, it makes me feel like there's nothing that connects me to those in my life suddenly. It's very upsetting, very upsetting. Um, people will try to console me or whatever, and I'll suddenly feel like, like they're a stranger, which is... I mean, I can't even begin to explain how messed up that is. I mean, I know who they are, and I know that on paper, they're like, they're they're my partner, or they're a family member, or they're like my best friend of like however many years, but suddenly the conniving man is like, who the fuck are they? Who are these people? You've got nothing in common with them. What's the glue that holds you together? And my my genuine self, my true self knows that, that there are a million reasons why I'm with these people, okay? But the conniving man, um, or my disassociation, doesn't, doesn't know. Uh, it, it has no sense of, like, what the people in my life mean to me. It's almost like it thinks it knows me very well and what I want, but it's not like that. It's not like that. It's, it's always wrong. It's negative, and it's terrible. Um, now, I'm, I only use the conniving man example because, you know, it uh, might help in understanding, I guess, especially if you've seen the movie. It's kind of just like the angel and the demon on the shoulder, you know what I mean? It's like if I didn't have an angel on the shoulder, I've got two demons. That's the conniving man or whatever, you know. It's also like that dude in Harry Potter, he's got the two faces, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, um, you know, normal here. And then on the back, it's the conniving man. Kind of like my, my hairline. It's receding, you know? Normal conniving man, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so the conniving man is kind of disassociation. And it's really, like, totally ruining my quality of life. You know, I'm kind of just overthinking everything constantly. I'll be enjoying myself in the moment. Like, I, I haven't really felt right today. I took a nap. I feel better. I definitely feel better. Um, but it's like you wake up with this sense that, well, you things are all right, I guess, but they're, they're definitely not. Like, you can think they are, but they're not. I don't know. It's, um... I sort of feel like every day I'm just doing things to distract myself from myself. And that's tough. I don't know. Some comedians actually have, um, yeah, Doug Stanhope has a really great bit about, um, about how like the circus only starts right when you're trying to go to sleep and he's talking about going to sleep sober. Hey, yup. That's exactly what I go through. Um, 
man oh man that's a great bit doug stanhope is amazing but um that that made me feel better it makes me feel better relating to people and hearing other stories and 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 seeing if others go through the same thing as me so i don't feel alone you know um but um, a lot of the time i feel like i'm you know past help and that the, the, i know that that's not true you know but sometimes it feels so intense the problem i have is when i go through an episode of paranoia anxiety disassociation whatever it is i feel like it's going to last forever and that's a big a big quality um, or characteristic to these these episodes of whatever it might be. Um, I, I feel as though I might have some sort of a mood uh, imbalance or a disorder. I because my I I do go up and down, but I'm I'm just sort of very mixed up right now, and it's ruining things. You know, it's definitely ruining things. You know, I've got that fear of being drugged, so I'm always like second guessing the things I eat and drink and I don't really I'm sensitive to sugar now so you know I couldn't enjoy like a ton of my birthday cake I could only have like a couple pieces and even then even then I uh you know I'll this conniving man in my head makes me feel like I need to throw up um after I eat uh sugary or um, processed things because generally sugar and processed foods make me disassociate. So I'm acting out of the fear that it's going to happen, and I and I'll throw up, or or it'll really make me sick. I you know it it depends. It depends on the day, but I'm kind of living with this like crippling feeling, you know. And um, right now I'm. I've got a lot going on in my life. Things are moving very quickly. Um, uh, there's a quote in The King of Staten Island that I really loved. Um, I, I felt that I related to the sort of mixed up and misguided nature of the main character um, played by Pete Davidson. I, I really um, sympathized and, and understood what I was seeing on screen, but he has, um, he has a quote, he says something about, you know, like life goes fast, you know, I smoke weed, it goes like slower or something like that. Hey, that's, um, you know, I remember smoking weed. It, it does make things feel slower. It makes you, you know, feel like you can sit back and I guess figure it out more or it zeroes you in on whatever the thing is that's freaking you out. I don't know. It can be good or bad, but I'm just trying to tell you what I'm going through right now, and I don't even know, like, if anyone's going to see this, you know? Hey, I, I, I don't know, but, I mean, if you do, and you go through the same thing as me, please comment and tell me about it. Tell me that you relate. Tell me what you go through, even if it's not the same. Like, I think the only way to feel better sometimes is to know someone else is going through the same thing and that you're not alone, and uh, it's hard not feeling alone. And it's even harder when you still feel alone and you've got tons of people who care about you around you, you know, that, that is hard. And it's not that I picked the wrong um, people around me. I've got a wonderful support system all the way through. Um, but my mind tells me otherwise. I'm always fighting my mind. And uh, a lot of the days I'm just tired of it. And I don't want to do it anymore, you know, but there are good days there. I basically live for the, the times that I'm distracted, you know, uh, I love, I love shopping for movies at second and Charles. It's one of my favorite multimedia stores better than FYE. FYE needs to, you know, FYE should be wiped out. I, I hate FYE now used to love FYE, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know why I, um, I was so harsh. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm mixed up. I'm complicated. You know. Uh, one time, I the the last time I I got high on accident. I I made the video of that. I was trying to, for some reason, when I'm on when I'm under the influence or even when I'm not, I get to the point where I try and figure everything out. I try and lay out all my ducks. 
you know, and I try and like get to the bottom of everything. All right, this is what I need to do now. I got to do this tomorrow. And I try and prioritize and I try and organize myself, though it kind of creates a mess because I'm so all over the place and, and focused on this thing when there's other stuff that I need to take care of first kind of like I should have taken care of myself today before I thought about business and go, 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 you know? I took a nap, like I said, I feel a little bit better and it feels good to, to talk, you know, but um, I don't remember what, <laughs> I don't remember what I was just saying to you. Oops. The video could cut out at any time. I don't know. Um, the disassociation is hard and, and, um, you know, I don't want anyone to have to go through the same sort of things, but, you know, if you are, um, tell me about it. Reach out, you know. Hey, you're not alone. Um, even though it feels like that a lot sometimes. I don't know. I just wanted to vent. Um, like I said, no one even has to watch this, you know. But if you do, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you more if, um, if you understand. Um, and if you're going through the same thing and you don't understand, whatever, you know? Anyway. Anyway. Um, hobbies keep me going and I find distraction and that usually helps. But what kind of, what kind of life is, is it? Um, what kind of life do you have if, if all you're ever trying to do is run away? Run away from myself, run away, you, you know? Um, I think I remember what I was saying before. Um, um, fuck. I think I'm losing it again. I, d I don't know. It fluctuates. My, my memory is sort of all over the place. I do need more sleep. Um, and I can't keep doing this thing where I'm scared to eat all day because it's like ripping me up. Um, I did start taking my medication for, uh, uh, for my, uh, well, I take, uh, omeprazole and, uh, it's good to finally, you know, I, I, I've been committing to that. I'm going to be on day five, um, soon. Anyway, um, I know that this was a lot of rambling, but if you stuck through, that means a lot. And, um, I guess that's it. I'm going to go because I don't know if I'll be able to remember the point I was making before. I just kind of, um... I get wrapped up, you know, but it was good to make this video, and I, I hope it means something, you know. Anyway, that's all for me tonight. Uh, take care. I'm going to do more videos soon. I'm going to watch movies tonight. That'll be good. It's Friday the 13th. It was a hectic Friday the 13th. Um, Lila uh, had a bunch of car troubles and all this crazy stuff happened. I was trying to meet her. Well, you know, I basically went through an almost break breakdown, like trying to manage everything. That's what I was saying before. I, I get zeroed in and I'm like, I need to figure everything out. That's what it is. I need to figure everything out and I want to figure it out tonight. But you can't do that, okay? So the last time I smoked weed on accident, um, I got to the point where I kind of... I kind of settled down and I said, you're complicated. You're just a complicated guy. You don't have it all figured out. And that's all right. Lately, it's hard to remember that. Um, it's hard to remember a lot of good things about myself, you know, when, when I'm going through this thing. But hey, you always get a second chance the next day. So hopefully tomorrow is good. I've got good things planned, you know. Um, hopefully it's a great day of distraction, but it would be nice if I wasn't living for a distraction. I hope that, I hope, I hope I can feel better soon. I want to, I want to feel like me again, you know, I, like I miss the old me, you know, I, not like the things I used to do, you know, I, I miss feeling grounded and I miss having a strong sense of self. I miss I miss my old self in that, in that way, you know, but hey, we're not in the past. We shouldn't look in the past. So I'm going to try and stop on that note. I'm done with this video. Like I said, take care. Um, and I, and I hope somebody watches this. I really, really do. Anyway, that's all. Thanks.